In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Frontier X2 from 4th Frontier. It is a heart rate monitor with a lot more to offer. Thanks to 4th Frontier for sending this out. We're gonna jump right into the unboxing and see what this device does. I am super excited to take a look at this device. On a base level, it is a heart rate monitor, but even just saying that, it really doesn't do justice what this device does. It is a first in providing continuous electrocardiograms on a wearable, so you can go out and cycle and have all sorts of data available to you that you wouldn't have had before. So if we take a look at the box, we can see measure what matters, Frontier X, fourth Frontier on the side, and then on the back, we see exercise safely, measure cardiac strain, push your heart with the confidence while exercising and avoid overtraining your heart, monitor your heart, record continuous ECG, record high quality continuous ECG during activity for up to 24 hours, free your mind, set real-time vibration alerts, train distraction-free and setting real-time alerts for heart rate, cardiac strain, or breathing rate. Uh, Frontier X2 and you can see that there is an app in the App Store as well as on Google Play so let's open this guy up a nice little pull tab to pull it out a little embossed fourth Frontier logo there and then you always like that I always like the the magnets always a nice touch We've got Fourth Frontier and we open it up and we see welcome, exercise safely, monitor your heart, free your mind. And we've got some basic instructions, a quick start guide, how to get started, pair with your phone, where the device, start recording, view results. And then we've got some text specs, regulatory stuff here. And then we've got a small fourth frontier guide as well, talking about the battery, the recharger, medical device interference, all that kind of stuff. And good for you to read before you start using a device like this. And if we take a look, we can see right off the hop device, a nice little bit of foam there. So this is a little bit different than a lot of heart rate monitors that you will see. If we pull this guy out, we've got a nice glossy finish. We can see we've got one button on the bottom and on the back we've got fourth frontier and then we have the attachments there that looks very similar if you've used any kind of heart rate monitor strap and then this guy is and we'll just push see if it powers on which it does we get the logo the time we got time effort strain and then we've got hr csbr and hrv and then we've got data and then we've got how much capacity that we've used and it's searching, obviously trying to pair with the phone and then it just kind of shuts down, which is good. What I like about that right off the hop is that turning this on, you can see exactly how much battery life you have. If you use something along the lines, this is uh, my Skosh. It's all sealed up, great. This is an armband heart rate monitor it powers on you have no idea how much battery life is on there unless you connect to the app and specifically the app so you don't know you could go out you could head out have not charged this up and you could lose power and this has happened to me numerous times with this within a matter of time and of course now you've got no data for your period as well and same thing with this we've got a peloton heart rate monitor here as you can see, they're very kind of comparable in size. And what we have with the Peloton one is we just have like the little disc battery. And again, no way to tell what power. So even just for that nice little feature, I kind of like that. We've got two tabs on there. Let's see what else is in the box. This is all just kind of solid foam. So we have a couple different heart straps. I imagine different sizes. We have blue and black. And then we have, it looks like some little doors. So there's probably a port to charge this. You got it. So those will just fit in there to keep it waterproof. This guy is an IP67 waterproof rating, so you can swim with this, but I imagine you're gonna wanna put 
those doors in to ensure the seal. And then we've got a charging cable, which is just a USB cable. It doesn't appear to be proprietary, which is a nice touch as well. Because again, if we look at something like the Skosh, you've got that proprietary charger. If you lose that, miss it, you don't charge it and you go traveling and you're competing. Again, it becomes a little bit of a problem. So overall looking really nice. Let's pop these bands out. So it's just your typical heart rate band. Feels nice, looks good. It's rubberized on the back here. You can see they've got the contact points. You will probably have to moisten those in order to get a good reading, but that's very typical of any device of this type. And then we've got the black ones here. And again, just a, just a nice thing. We've got, again, the plastic on the back. So after using the Frontier X2 a few times, I have to say that I am super impressed with this device. Not only does it work well as a heart rate monitor, but it does a great job of collecting other data. Some of it that you would be unable to do with any other device on the market currently, most specifically the ECG. It provides not only a live view, but you can go back and take a look at your entire workout. And it does a great job of flagging changes in your rhythm. So if there is any concerns, you are able to quickly identify that data, export the whole workout as a PDF or just that section. So you're able to share it with your healthcare professional if you have any concerns. Now, not only that, it also monitors things such as your breath rate, as well as your HRV. If you use an iPhone or a Whoop, you will be quite familiar with that metric, as well as it will measure strain. So it does a lot of things that a regular heart rate monitor won't do. The great thing is, is the information is easily accessible on your phone. You can set up workouts as well as have custom alerts, which I think is great as well. So if you're going out there and you don't want to exceed 120 beats per minute and you're trying to take it easy, you can set up the device. So when you exceed that amount, it will buzz twice to let you know. Or if you're working on upper limits and you have an upper heart rate that you don't want to surpass, you can do that as well. And you can customize those alerts. So I think that is really cool with this device. The web app makes it easy to use. You can go in there, scan through your data, see your highs, you can see your lows, you can zoom into little sections, and again, export that as a PDF, which I think is helpful. So I'm excited to be using this device. If you have any questions about the device itself, or the metrics or anything in there, please do leave a comment down below. Please also remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya.